famous saying goes, you can't lead someone to a place if you didn't go first there yourself. Looking at my path today, I can say that it is composed of two roads that run parallel like a railroad track. One is my personal research, the other is my work as a trainer and a teacher, born from the pleasure to share what I was learning in my research. Many questions I had about the world since I was a boy were related to the experience of living in a disadvantaged neighborhood in my hometown in southern Italy, Taranto. Right now, all over the news caused the environmental disaster produced by Ilva, one of the largest iron and steel factories. It seemed contradictory to me to see, by one side, so much energy and knowledge used to create such huge industries, and so huge disaster and poverty by the other side. Since then, I've been looking for knowledge capable to create wellness for the individuals and the society. So I left for Rome, studying as sociologist and doing so many different jobs to survive, having so many life experiences. But the first time I thought this work makes sense to me was working as a social worker with children with disabilities. I was discovering the education field as an important aspect of my vocation. Years later, I was teaching yoga. I remember the precise moment it was a Saturday morning. At the end of the lesson, in the eyes of my students, there was something that made you think of the wonder of existence and well-being. I had the feeling of being in the right place. An important milestone was, again, the discovery of the autobiography as a way of self-knowledge and the search for a personal meaning of life. Here, too, it all starts with a personal experience related to a crisis period and the need to write about my experience in order to reassemble the pieces for, of my life. After these personal experiences, I studied to become a trainer expert in autobiographical methods, and this is still my passion and my work. The final stage of my research and my professional dimension brought me even closer to my inner drive. I had, in fact, the opportunity to know a very interesting approach for self-enhancement called More to Life. Since then, I'm working on other issues like how to overcome our life's dramas and how to transform implicit beliefs about ourselves and the world that negatively affect our lives. I can definitely say that my job is a work in progress to progress in knowledge and love.